Well, they had another entrance to the caves up here. I can't see. Damn, that's a lot of explosives. What'd they have all this C4 for? I don't know, but it looks like that this is where they were actually hanging out. Here we are. Well, well. Looks like we cleared them out. Damn inbred mutant freaks. There have been way too many catastrophic NCR foul-ups around here. If you find my friends, please return their dog tags to the NC. If they won't listen, do what you can to make them listen. Oh, there it is. Where did we come in here from? Interesting place. We didn't get an actual quest from that. Threat, do you Yeah. You must be mistaken. I haven't filed. If someone is saying I filed that report, that's a load of crap. Be Detective. Threat neutralized. Yeah. Why are you invisible? Be Good question. We got ourselves a little Ranger family reunion now. Type is right for a few. All right. Oh, that's the one I left there. Damn it, enemies are nearby. Where? They're at the top of this freaking hill, aren't they? Man, I'm surprised you didn't get reports of trained death claws. Look at that! Death claw! Detected. Threat neutralized. Threat detected. Threat neutralized. Threat detected. Threat neutralized. Threat neutralized. That's why this thing's so dangerous. This thing fires five rounds at once. I never even noticed that. Oh. 
shooting long enough away that I actually got to see the space, the spread on it. That was the first time I recognized, hey, I'm shooting five bullets at once. Welcome back. I knew it. Every one of the false reports was signed off by Chief Hanlon at camp. I need you to take everything we found to Chief Hanlon. See, I figured it was going to be Chief Hanlon. Hello. Well, I figured it was going to be Camp what Golf. Because it's not the first guy who's been fucking what? shit up. Hanlon. Honey, 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 Lynn. I need to talk to you. Because apparently. Not you. Not you. You're a lying asshole. Did you know that? Did you know you're a lying asshole? I don't think he's actually inside the building. I think he's on top of it or something. Ah. There's a balcony up here. Back west, you don't see too many of these. Lakes, I mean. Natural. We neglected the dams or pumped all the water out a long time ago. Owens, Isabella, and the San Luis. Just a lot of mud and dust now. It's a different feeling, but if you're here long enough, it starts to seem normal. I know a bit about you, Courier. Heard someone messed you up pretty bad over in Good Springs. I heard a few other things, too. Some good, but not all. If you're going to be associating with Rangers, you best stay on their friendly side. Folks around here call me the chief, but Hanlon's just fine. The rangers run themselves pretty well. Mostly administrative work, helping coordinate intel on the radio. That and... Legion fires. They burn high wherever the Legion goes. Caesar's a hard man to figure out, but he always wants you to know when more troops are at your front door. The best of the best, the worst of the worst. He came out of NCR, one of the followers of the apocalypse. Like a lot of the followers, he went out in the wilderness with a partner to try to help those who needed help. Not much different from how the Rangers used to be, except with books and medicine instead of guns. Out to the Grand Canyon, he met a missionary from Utah, a man by the name of Joshua Graham. Graham helped translate for the followers from the tribes. All three of them got nabbed by the Blackfoots down there, back when they were still at war with every other tribe in the Southwest. Somewhere along the way, he realized he needed to educate the Blackfoots so they were going to get wiped out with the rest of the tribe. Showed them how to use guns, how to make explosives. Once he taught the Blackfoots a thing or two, they needed him. And he no longer needed the followers, NCR, or anyone else. He decided he could remake the tribes of the Southwest whether they wanted it or not. He became Caesar, and Joshua Graham became his legate, his right hand. And that's where Graham stayed until he was dam. Losing the dam was the worst defeat the Legion ever suffered. Graham had been with Caesar since the beginning. He had to set an example. The Praetorians covered Graham in pitch, lit him on fire, and down into the Grand Canyon he went. 
It's not that clear cut. You have to understand, Graham was the toughest son of a gun anyone around these parts had ever seen. Before Hoover, we had five kill reports on Graham from Rangers and first recon sharpshooters who tried to take him out. Some folks think he's still alive, call him the burned man. Yes and no. The Blackfoots don't exist anymore. Just like any other, Caesar takes the tribal out of the tribe. Scrapes and burns off tattoos, breaks up families, forces mixed breeding so all the old loyalties die away. The only tribe in the Legion is the Legion. Caesar is the chief, father, and god, all rolled into one. Mojave outposts sent word through the stations. The rangers coming up from Baja moved through Dayglo a week ago. Some of the patrol rangers have reported that Oliver's power armor heavy troopers are starting to reinforce the front lines. Wish they got here a bit earlier. The Baja rangers can do more advanced night scouting. The sharp Ranger combat helmets are all pre-war gear. They have built-in low-light op. They have the best equipment the NCR can get its hands on. Power armor salvaged from a war with the Brotherhood. Tech strip out the joint servos so you don't need special training to wear it. It feels like you're carrying a Brahmin on your back, but it can take a heck of a lot of punishment. Word is that the Legion's old-timers have shown up. Caesar's veterans from the Red Oki Centuria and what was the Painted Rock. They're the best of the best and the baddest of the bad. Short of a Centurion or Praetorian, you come across a pack of them. Weigh your options carefully. Take a regular Legionary in aging 10 years. Whatever they lose to age, they make up for with experience. You live ten years in Caesar's army, you're forced to be reckoned with. There's no real equivalent to them in the NCR. Centurions are battle-born elite officers who earn their rank with blood and sweat. They wear special outfits, too, pieced together from the armor of all their defeat. Caesar's elite guard. They travel with him wherever he goes. They aren't the toughest legionaries, but they're the most... I could tell you a lot if you had the time, but at my age, I'm not sure which of them. I suppose it depends on what you think's good. Most folks want to hear... If you want some tall tales about hunting down slavers or busting up gangs, Kind of a long one, but off right. About 20, 25 years ago, a group of NCR settlers pushed way south into Baja. I guess it doesn't seem so far now if you look at a map, but back then they were out of ways. They built this little shanty town around a well in the middle of nowhere. Called it Rattletail. Word got back to one of our stations that raiders had been attacking the place. I went out with six rangers. We must have been on the trail for a week before we got to Rattletail. We lost one woman to night stalkers and another almost died of dehydration. When we reached the place, it's six shacks set up around an old well. There's over two dozen bodies lying in the dunes way outside of town and five men with 308 rifles crouched behind sandbags. And these bodies, these people out in the sand, they aren't raiders aren't even heavily armed. They're just people who were trying to get to the only well in 50 miles. I didn't have to talk to the men to see that they did not care one bit. They had planted an NCR flag.